everybody welcome back to my channel subject of the day Lelia Crisper she is very very small still we have a long way to go but I think it's best that I do something about a repot right now because I've been seeing root growth happening and they're stalling there you can see the root tip Here's one branching in there. A new growth is coming. And what else? There's another root going down into here. So she's trying and I need to help her along. So yeah, change of scenery. Ta-da! It could be a little bit louder than normal, but okay, on my channel at this point, this is what happens because I do live in southern Spain and life is on the move outside despite of me wanting to film. So thank you for your patience while all the shenanigans go on in the background. I just wanted to take you along for the repot because I find these always super interesting myself. And I'd like to see if that applies with everybody else as well. Let me get the better angle here. So what has been happening? Well, I think, fingers crossed, I think I have figured out how to stop the distortions. Oh, look, a big root in the back. Oh, that's great. I think I figured out how to stop the distortions on my videos. And if that is the case, I'm going to feel so much better uploading. I mean, I'm enjoying this little YouTube journey a lot. But I don't like putting up videos that are distorted. So I think I've got it figured out and this video is going to see be the first one where I try the new approach and we shall see so in case you haven't noticed I have an east side a south side and a west side and clearly in the mornings the west side is still in shade whereas in the east side in the summer the sun is blistering hot. So I'm now facing south with my filming in order to enjoy some sunshine and maybe tan my feet while we're at it. <laughs> Get some tan lines, funky tan lines on my feet from my flip flops. But anyway, what I was trying to say is that there is a road right opposite me. It's the entrance to the neighboring community and their gate open and closes as per when people want to come in or, or leave. And that's what you're hearing. I can't help it. I don't know what I'm going to do otherwise. So I'm trying all different angles and all different locations. Also because I think maybe doing this earlier in the day in the sunshine will make for a better experience as well for you. The light is better. So yeah, those are my thought processes. So I'm just going to weed out some of the dead roots. I'm not going to be too radical. Her setup will be for two years and it's not going in her permanent pot because she is so little. So I'm not too concerned about some organic media remaining in the pot. I'll do the best I can, but I don't want to jeopardize anything that's going on that is good. There's one, we'll take it back to the green. This one is clearly a goner, right up to there. And we got another one there. And yes, I've sterilized all my tools. I always do that after every time I use them. So I always start with a clean 
sterilized set. So Lelia Crisper, if this is the one that I think I bought her from Wichmann or Hidein in Germany, paid quite a high price for her and I was quite surprised when I saw how tiny she was. I guess this is a hard to come by orchid. So I never repotted her because I wanted to wait until I saw some kind of action. And I've been noticing action for the past couple of months, especially with this root right here. This was the first one I saw and it failed on me. So what I'm thinking is the media is breaking down and my pH did not accommodate for the acidity in this pot. So I lost the growing tip of that root. And that can happen. Meanwhile, she does have good pseudobulbs. She's not a weak plant. So I let it go. I kept watching. And then this root right here started and it didn't touch the media and it went downhill. The root tip died back. So what am I thinking was going on there? Do I have snails in here? I didn't see any, which doesn't mean there aren't any, you know, they can be really, really tiny. But I still waited. And I think I just waited to see the perfect timing to not stress her out and see more action going on so that she has more strength going into a new environment. I will be potting her up like a seedling with ceramus only. And she will be treated just like my bebes. And she can move out of my dining room setup where she had lots of light but was protected from the elements. Her temperatures were pretty much steady all the way. And today I'm going to put her outside and along with the other bebes where she can join the club. Okay, let's not get too carried away here. That to me is absolutely fine. I like the fact that this root is going down. I won't be worried about that. So, next step. We're gonna see if there were any snails. They are now history. And as I'm in the blazing sun, I'm going to just take my hydrogen peroxide and put it into the darker part of the house. And hydrogen peroxide should not be left in the light. That's why most bottles come in a dark bottle. Most hydrogen peroxide come in a dark bottle. That is not the case here in Spain. So I don't have a dark bottle. You see my blue transparent bottle. And uh, that is not a good thing for hydrogen peroxide straight into the darkness of a room. Okay, let's do this and try to stay on camera. You can see that I have my clear plastic cup with two holes drilled in the back there. I've already made a little doohickey for this in case I need to secure her. I don't know, we shall see. And I've brought the Veitch, Lelia Veitch baby along because I'm going to harvest that moss and put it onto the crisper. That moss just developed there on its own and I quite like it. So let's get some ceramics into the bottom. I know that I still haven't got my shovel. I want a little baby beach, a toddler's beach shovel for sandcastles. 
I hope that you like the little background. My beautiful white and silver bush there. It's a gorgeous plant. Second flush of the season. Never done that before. Loving it. Okay. You know, as I'm doing this, I was actually thinking, it happens, that I'm not going to plant her on the top. This is going to make my life so much easier. I don't have to fiddle with supports. And she has more humidity around the base. And that's all I'm going to do. This way she can settle in there quite nicely on her own. So normally I try to film at lunchtime. That hasn't worked. Then I try to film in the PM, thinking that maybe that would settle people down and there's not much activity. That hasn't worked. So my contemplations are film and if need be, shout. So I hope you can hear me okay. Because as we head into the summer and as our provinces open up for traveling, and we're not talking international, maybe there will be some, but local traveling. When our provinces open up, we will be getting a lot of business, a lot of traffic coming from within Spain. So the noise pollution is only going to get worse. And I figured that just film it. Everybody's been so kind, so patient. And I hope I'm speaking loud enough that you can hear me above cars coming in and out, engines being idle, until I figure out what microphone I want. Okie dokie, we're getting there. She's low enough. The reason I want some moss is to help me with the top dry layer at this point. Seeing as she is tiny, and she has that new growth coming. I don't know her sturdiness well enough to understand if I can just spray her like I normally would and be okay with this new growth, not rotting off or not. So my other babies, I've gotten to know them really well. And that's why it's okay for me to spray them. I'm comfortable doing that with them. This one, I don't know, and that's why I'm going to harvest the moss. So I put the label back in. I always put my label, align it with the two holes in the back here. Because if I'm carrying her around, I, want, I don't have to look at where the holes are and then spill water as I'm moving her, if that is, should be the case. All right, let's get some RO water with some seaweed. No fertilizer because she's been treated with hydrogen peroxide. And before we harvest the moss, maybe one day you'll be here and I'll be filming in the Lamborghini drives by. You would think that we were living right next to Le Mans racetrack or the Nuremberg ring. This guy seems to think, or girl seems to think that they are alone on the road which ended badly for one owner of a Lamborghini that I knew. And here comes Baloo protesting. See, it's all happening on this side of my property. You have no idea how much I appreciate everybody that watches my videos. So let's get some ceramics with moss on it and just place it around the top of the crisper and that way we can get our own little colony going here I want some over there and that should oh, help with the humidity she actually didn't end up that low in the pot did she hmm look at that all right you're not moss you're algae how are we doing over here? Can I take some more off right here? Yes, I think I can because there's a lot growing on the vapes. Oh, look at those roots. Oh my word. 
Look at that. Oh, oh, that makes me feel so good. Okay, you can go in the back here. Come ça. Now, we'll cover you back up. Seeing as you did not know that you are that exposed. All right. Just a little bit more water. So wouldn't that be exciting if I have got the distortion issue sorted? Oh boy, that will make me so happy and I bet it will make you happy too. All right, let's watch that growth. Oh, it's early in the day, I'm not too concerned if things get wet. And she's growing in a nice breezy place. And you get some for good measure for sharing your moss. And there we have it. Lelia Crispa in the house for the next couple of years. That is the plan anyway, so fingers crossed. Thank you everybody so much for watching. Thank you for sticking by me. And if you have any comments, any remarks, any observations, have you got Lelia Crispa, for example? I mean, I've never seen one in someone's collection, so let me know. It would be awesome. To know and how do you grow it have a great day everybody thank you very much bye, bye.